Hey guys, this is my fifth market watch tutorial. If you are watching this tutorial, I'm really hoping you have already watched tutorials one to four. Number one shows you how to sign up. Number two shows you how to sign to a game. Number three and four help you pick a stock and whatnot. So if you watched all four of those, you're ready to short stocks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log into my market watch account. I'm going to go into my first game. I'm going to go to trading. Right now, I have the stock page. So let's say I'm going to buy shares of Apple because buying Apple is the smartest thing you can do and there's nothing better to do in the market than to buy a company that is so huge that it has nowhere else to grow. So we're going to buy 20 shares of Apple at $520 a piece. And let's say every single one of these shares goes up a dollar. So what we have is our 20 shares multiplied by the $1 increase. That's $20 of profit on top of our baseline so we basically we made twenty dollars if each of our twenty shares goes up one dollar now remember you're gonna be paying a commission fee every single time you uh, go through the transaction so you're not gonna be making exactly twenty dollars you're gonna be making a little bit less so do not sell your stocks after you have made thirty cents because you're not making thirty cents you're losing like eight dollars and seventy cents with now that that's out of the way we can now go into shorting stocks. So, right here you have this option that says buy. Next to it, you have this thing that says sell short. What the heck does that mean? Short selling is basically exactly what it sounds like. You're betting that said stock will go lower. So let's say I don't have any faith in Apple, okay? Let's say I think Apple will definitely, definitely, definitely go lower. So I short 20 shares of Apple. Now. Apple's at 520. Let's say Apple drops to 500 after I short it. That's a $20 decrease multiplied by the 20 shares I have. That's $400. So, if I sell Apple short at 520 and they drop to 500 a share, my 20 shares that I have shorted are now worth 400 to me because I bet Apple would drop. So every I bet 20 shares of Apple would drop. Each share has dropped $20. 20 times 20 is 400. That's $400 in my pocket. Now let's say instead of selling Apple short, I bought Apple. Then if they drop to 500, I'm losing $400 because I said they would go up and they went down. Now another thing, if you're playing in a short-term game, let's say a couple of months, and let's say the game ends in June, maybe June 20th, maybe June 14th. Some people know what I'm talking about. Then buying a company like Apple is not smart because Apple is a humongous company with an outrageous stock at $519. The stock is stable. It's not going to move much. Apple, Apple and Google as well, 715 That's ridiculous. It's good to buy and forget that you bought because years and years later it'll be worth more and then that's when you care but right now if you're playing a short-term game that let's say ends in June you don't want to buy a stock like this because it's not going to help you so let's go to a stock called AMD advanced micro devices I am in no way saying AMD is a special company or anything it's not like I'm running an AMD processor on this computer it is not like my graphics card is also from AMD. Just as a side note, completely unrelated to this video, ATI is a company that AMD now owns. Not saying AMD is special or anything. Not at all. But let's say AMD, 259, I buy 5,119 shares at $2.59. And let's say AMD jumps up to $3.05. That is six cents. That's it. Now, if I multiply my six cents by my 5,119 shares, that means $300. Just by a six cent increase on my 5,119 shares, I've made $300. And on a smaller stock like this, a couple of cents increase or decrease is not ridiculously uncommon. So it's much smarter than buying a company like Apple or Google or whatever. 
But as you can see, I've spent like seven in this. I've spent like seventy percent of my money on one stock. That is not smart. You do not put all your eggs in one basket. You need to separate your baskets and eggs. You should have more than one basket, meaning more than one industry, and you should have more than one egg, more than one company inside said industries. So let's say your industries are technology and cosmetology. You should have multiple companies inside each industry. But this is just basically an overview of what stocks are and how to short them and whatnot. So good luck in your game. Don't lose. Don't lose after the second day. Don't sell after you have made 30 cents. You will lose all your money. Goodbye.